Hey there guys, hey welcome to 2017, happy new year to you all, hope wherever you are listening from around the world you have had a good, healthy, prosperous start to the new year. I myself have been very busy, it's been one of those like a wild start, in a good way, just so much going on, it's hard to keep pace with it all. Um, of course for us in the southern hemisphere it is our summer, so it's um, a lot we're outdoors more we have the longer days and the shorter evenings which kind of makes us all far more active as well so anyhow this is the first reading of the psi cards the predictive energies for the global um, prediction month series so we will see what is in store for january 2017 we have just about to start, haven't yet, very soon, the Chinese Year of the Fire Rooster. And I think for America you are about to have your new president ordained as such as inauguration in January as well. So a busy month from terms of change and new direction. Remember that 2017 is the year of that that adds up to a number one so this year is about new beginnings in all areas so we start the cycle of the next nine year pattern for us all so let's see what's in store with these cards and I'll do one more at the bottom They're actually quite nice looking bunch of cards to be honest. We have the sage, then we have fortune, then we have friendship, the stars, the wheel and the cave. Now if you were using these in the normal perspective we can imagine that some of those cards are actually really positive anyhow such as friendship, fortune and the sage. Um, but we sort of turn them around here a little bit in this dynamic format of reading and what we are doing is we're connecting with collective conscious energies or thoughts that come in through the guise of activated energy especially from humans on the planet. So we're going to start off on the left hand side with that first card the sage. Now often when I, the sage turns up I think of the Pope or um, figureheads along his line. So they can be religious figureheads or people who hold an important place of state. This could be symbolic of Trump being um, signed in in January and signing documentation and papers. It could also be something about the Pope. There may be some news regards him in this January period or there may be some information around his health or as I say other religious leaders even such as the Dalai Lama or in other countries high up religious figureheads or political sometimes they intermingle across each other. The other thing about the sage he is sitting there reading a book and it has calculations on it so I often think that the sage has information pertaining to the realm of technological advancement in particular, so the quest or knowledge of understanding our universe from a distance, so more information coming to us about our planets around us or new planets coming in, possibly more about planet 9 or Nibiru or planet X, whatever they want to call it. We have two new unknown comets slash asteroids um, coming towards us I think in January and February. In fact this year we have quite a lot of comet asteroid activity and I think that that will pertain to a lot of uh, flux and energy transfer for us all throughout the year. Anytime a celestial body traverses across our realm it affects the time space distortions as well as the energetic flow that we all experience. 
So there will be quite a lot of that going on in 2017. And a lot of those new celestial bodies that come into our realm also create new um, experiences for us and emotions and situations. The other thing about the sage, he can be calculating things such as rocket trajectories, um, new orbits of things, satellites, and celestial pieces of craft in and around us as well. The, he can also be learning about things to do with planets, so new moons or information on new planets that we are finding out coming in thick and fast at this beginning time of the year. And essentially also because of this card here, the stars card, they duplicate each other. So we're definitely looking to the heavens in January and possibly into February. There is another thing that that can mean, which mean uh, suggestive of what I have said, more comets and asteroids in our ear and around us. So there will be some yet that we haven't heard of that will sort of turn up. The fortune card, it doesn't come out that often. And um, it's an interesting card. As I said, if you were looking at this from a normal perspective, it would indicate that fortunes could be on the rise or that people are seeking to find them and they are perhaps going on a path or journey taking them there. However, this card in this reading tends to portend possibly the opposite so that maybe finances somehow globally are being affected in the month of January. This could mean that there is some adversary energies coming or adverse energies coming for finances. Perhaps they take a dip or they go into... Um, a negative spiral or they start to spiral down for some reason. There has been a lot of conjecture within various realms on the, on the public forum places such as YouTube that when, when Trump is actually sworn in and he starts to make real his, uh, his, twi <laughs> his tweets or his twitters or his threats or whatever else he's doing then there could be some variance in the financial sector around the world so that will be something that we have to sit closely by and watch. Now the friendship card was here in December of 2016. It tends to signify talks or meetings around a table of a group or gathering sometimes of political leaders or countries that are trying to um, come to some sort of agreement or uh, reach some point at which it is positive for everyone but there is a fourth person coming in here it's a hidden hand and that's an unknown quantity so often there will be something that, di that disturbs the flow this can be unsettling or dismantle talks that have already previously been negotiated or um, negotiations may be disestablished or trying to be re-established it can be the meanings of needing mediation and something to come in and settle conflict but especially between other countries so we think of places like the Middle East we think of Russia we think of China Korea UK or Europe and um, America the, the big parties globally in the background we see containers of which are actually alcohol but they look a little bit to me like um, TNT and I often think of that as being explosions so we can see fiery explosions that could involve buildings um, exploding especially things like fireworks um, this can also be explosive devices used in situations like terror attacks we have seen plenty of those since the beginning of 2017 so I think they will continue to uh, be around especially in this month of January <laughs> if not well, really, it's a major issue. I'm not sure how we tackle it anyhow. We come to the stars card, and again, this is not one that often comes out. So we have two here that are infrequent visitors to these readings. That's fortune and the stars. Now, I do tend to think of the stars card as literally meaning that it is written in the stars, and sometimes there are things that we just don't know. So there's a degree of a hidden element in this reading, and given that it's sitting right next to the friendship card, and we've talked about this um, fourth person or juxtaposition of breaking down of talks or agreements and finding um, disharmony amongst gatherings 
it feels as though there is definitely something going on around that sector. When the stars card comes out it says we can't alter it. This is like a universal pattern or a universal energetic creation that is taking place. It can have to do with the altering of the direction in which we were headed and that it completely changes and we are unable to stop it. We're left standing there kind of going, oh, wow, well, you know, how did this happen? How did this eventuate? The stars, again, also talks a lot about alignments, so planetary alignments in particular, something to do with perhaps the way planets are aligned for the month of January or the moon coming in, um, eclipses, which we start in February, I think. So they could have a powerful synergy or energy that's vamping things up, as well as new technological information, again tying in with the sage about our universe and how we understand it and how we learn to move forward with it also about astrological um, bodies and celestial bodies traversing our skies so definitely more comets asteroids meteorites so we might see some more meteor or meteorite involvement with our planet and possibly even an asteroid type you know when we had the russian one a couple of years back it might be something like that in january as well we come to the wheel and we see this um wheel in a water a riverbed turning quite rapidly i often think of it as the signs of the spinning wheel of time and sitting next to the stars it matches really well again so this is about cyclical patterns in life and about not being able to prevent them and that everything is cyclical and it constantly changes so we are entering some new cycle here, um, we know that because we are starting the year number one, which is what 2017 adds up to. So we're moving into this new cycle or paradigm, exactly at what level I'm unsure, but that wheel is spinning relatively fast because there's a lot of water behind it. Another thing about the wheel card is it can be uh, referencing weather and that means a lot of wet weather or a lot of rain or water one way or another. So we could see some increases in flooding, heavy weather patterns, rapid and quick weather patterns that come on very quickly, unexpected possibly. I know in the northern hemisphere it is particularly cold, like colder than you've had for so long over many, many parts of the land. That could be symbolic of this, the wheel pattern. Um, and we can see crops damaged, so or unable to be grown to fruition or damaged when they're close to being harvested. And that can be in the wetter parts of the continent, like the tropics as well. So areas through places like Vietnam, um, the low lands of, say, China, India, areas like that. We come to the cave uh, right under the friendship card and he symbolises hiding, um, going underground, feeling threatened, feeling like you're not happy with the situation. You don't want to hear something, you're, you're not ready to hear what's being said and again this ties in here with something going not quite the way we want it to be. Um, it can also be very symbolic of extremely heavy weather patterns and often big storm cells. So whether or not that's snow storm cells or cyclonic or um, weather like rain or water or snow type energy but big snowy stormy strong weather systems coming in. It also refers to underground so we could see volcanic activity and we could see things where people are trapped and can't get out so they are um, stuck in places so there you are guys it does sound gloomy but that's just one perspective okay we can choose to look at any of the perspectives around these cards the way that I have um, kind of glued them all together tend to focus on the collective conscious energy wave patterns that are around there are several channels on YouTube that do this kind of um, 
you could call it remote viewing energy. It's very similar to what they do. You're just focusing in on galactic messages. So it's just one perspective of it. But hey, thanks for tuning in and keep listening. Keep putting your points of view across about how you perceive the cards and their messages as well. So hey everyone, heads up, thumbs up, have a great January. Take care, be safe, be happy. Namaste.